we brought Aaliyah down to Duke Airfield to participate in Air Force sponsored flight test, not only to have us continue flight testing in different environments, but also for the Air Force to firsthand experience what we as a company can deliver. It truly is more fun to go fly it down there than load it onto the flatbed and truck it down there. It's really easy to get myopic when we're developing this one aircraft. We look at where we were five years ago with Ava and then now with Aaliyah. But when we actually take this aircraft that we're developing and go put it on the road and go look at all the other aircraft that it can exist with at other airports, it really shines a light on that this is a very realistic project. The Grumman Avenger was one of the first where the wings folded back kind of like a bird. And it's a naval airplane intended to take off and land from aircraft carriers. I know I'm supposed to like electric aviation, but I really like the smell of this piece of fuel. They got a cross on the dash, kind of just a playground, uh, a flying playground. This warbird here, this is the old, and you can see kind of where we were in aviation and then compare that to where we're going in aviation. It's a wonderful thing to see, it really is. And everybody's witnessing history here this morning. This is the first electric aircraft departure out of the airport. Hell yeah. We went to a dozen states, 21 airports. Pretty cool, what kind of power plant you got? And every single airport that we went to, somebody was stoked on what we were doing. All electric. I knew it. Let me get your number so I can make sure I, uh... Get some stock before you get the contract. <laughs> There's a lot of parties involved. We got ground, two aircraft, flight test vehicles, and a lot of different airspace considerations. And so we want to make sure everyone's on the same page. Everything goes smoother when we do that. Just act natural. My jury. That's my jury. <laughs> when you're working on something or you go land after one of the hops, everybody on the team was there to support each other. Aaliyah Chase request right to left pass under. Point two, have a nice flight. You guys are flying. This is more than just on paper. This is a real life airplane. An entire hangar filled with aviation people and an aircraft that no one has laid eyes on, you're bound to get people over here. When we arrive at an airport or an FBO that had no idea that we were coming and there's kids on the ramp, they think that we just showed up from outer space. They have no idea what to expect. What we can do is we can remove these fairings and install a lift kit on there. So there's a motor with a prop on top of that and then we can take off like a helicopter. It's a... Er, er, <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, did I hear that right? And then we start explaining the uh, VTOL capability and their minds are just completely blown. Thank you a lot. This, Me this too. Is, this is really nice. And it just looks cool. Like, it looks it looks really cool. It's just so crazy how battery technology has come over the past couple years. As FBO starts to want to be a part of the charging network, the reality sets in. We are actively working towards planning our airport electrification. This airport, the first installation of electric EV aircraft charging stations in the state. Airplane will taxi up to this point and then hook up and then we're going to take you to a place where the pilots are going to be able to rest. The ramp was just finished so I'm excited about getting a, a beta aircraft charging station on the field. This is up and coming and if we want to be on the leading edge of this new technology we have to be making sure that we're prepared. We want to be at the head of the table rather than looking for a seat around the table. This is from the FAA. Beta Technologies is hereby authorized to operate in the aircraft listed below within the CIPRA freeze for the purpose of conducting demonstration of experimental electric aircraft on behalf of Department of the United States Air Force to and from Joint Base Andrews. We flew through the busiest airspace in the U.S., the New York airspace, cleared into the class Bravo, and the most restricted airspace, the airspace around Washington, D.C. We got to meet a lot of cool people along the way, all the different airports we stopped at. Our mission basically is hospital transfer of critical care patients. So we'll take them from the sending hospital to the receiving hospital. As if you look at the class last year, the seniors that graduated, everyone was given a pilot slot for Navy. So they're all down at flight school, which is awesome. There's so much opportunity that the pay is going up. Pretty much whatever you want to do right now in aviation, now was the time to really get into it. I want to learn how to fly. 
but then how to use that to design the aircraft for the pilot in mind. Animals being able to live freely coexisting with people here is part of our culture. This year I started training sometime in March to fly to Oshkosh and solo June 8th of this year. We shield signals from coming in and getting out of the facility and allow us to fly in GPS denied or GPS simulated environments. It was like the first thing I saw when, it, when you guys were taxiing in, it was like, wow, the future's here. Flying Aaliyah down the East Coast, it became really clear that airport managers and the local communities see the benefit of electric aviation. What a flight from Vermont, that was a long one. <laughs> <laughs> and they want it. Hey, welcome, Thank you.